Hi guys, welcome to this leak where today we're talking about refractometers. Now, a refractometer is a tool that we use to measure either alcohol, uh, the concentration of alcohol or the concentration of dissolved solids within a liquid. So it's two different types as we have SG hydrometers to measure dissolved solids and alcohol meters to measure alcohol both being hydrometers, but calibrated differently. The same is true for refractometers. Now, in front, we've got four different types of refractometers. The most common one that people are familiar with is the 0 to 32 bricks refractometer. This is what we use to measure sugar content, or more accurately, dissolved solids content in a juice in a liquid in a solution. So the way we use these refractometers are very, very simple. We take a little bit of water, either with a pipette or with a finger, sorry, not water, but um, whatever liquid I'm measuring. I put it on the lens cover, I slowly close the lens cover, smooth it out, evenly distributing the liquid on the lens, then I point it at the light source, I adjust my focus, and I get my reading. Now, it's very difficult with the camera to show you what it uh, looks like, so we'll edit in a little picture here so to show you what the inside of the refractometer looks like. But on the left-hand side, there's a brick scale. On the right-hand side, is an SG scale. And there's a blue line starting at the top. And where that blue line stops, there you get your reading. Left-hand side bricks, right-hand side SG. So you can still use the scale that you are familiar, uh, familiar with and comfortable with, the same as when you use an SG hydrometer, or more accurately, a triple scale hydrometer. The benefit, though, of using the refractometer is you only need one drop. You don't need a full cylinder in order to get a measurement. The other positive aspect of the, of the refractometer is ATC, Automatic Temperature Compensation. HG hydrometers, as with alcohol meters, are temperature sensitive. They need to uh, be calibrated for 20 degrees Celsius and you need to use a correction table in order to get the most accurate reading you can. Normally it's not that big of a deal, but if you want to be very accurate, you need to compensate for temperature. With the refractometer, that's done automatically for you. One thing, however, when using a refractometer, you must use it with natural light. It does not always work well with fluorescent lights or LED lights because the wavelengths aren't the same. So therefore, natural light is the ideal uh, light source to use with a refractometer. Now, we don't get just one type of refractometer. We also have the 0 to 90 refractometer, Brick's refractometer. You can see it's a lot smaller. This is to measure sugars, syrup, or sorry, to measure sugars in syrups, honeys, and molasses. But it cannot distinguish between fermentable and non-fermentable compounds. That's why I say it's more accurate to say these measure dissolved brick solids and not necessarily sugar. Because the moment you're dealing with syrups, specifically molasses, you're dealing with both um, fermentable and non-fermentable compounds, and the refractometer can't distinguish between those. So it's very important that you still use a lab analysis kit. Now you don't necessarily need a, a, a 0 to 90 bricks refractometer. You can just take a sample of whatever you're measuring, dilute it by half, use the normal 0 to 32, and then multiply your reading by 2 to get the original bricks reading. But that's a bit of math and extra uh, effort. If you're, for instance, a honey farmer or so, uh, or, well, uh, apiarist, I think is the correct word for beekeeper, um, then you would find the bricks re, uh, or the 0 to 90 bricks refractometer quite handy. Then we've also got alcohol refractometers. Now the alcohol refractometer you can see is quite a bit longer than the bricks refractometer. It's an easy way to distinguish it. And this measures alcohol percentage all the way up to, if we just make sure, 80% ABV. Now the um, Scale inside here is a little bit difficult to read sometimes. Um, if you look on the inside, you'll see that on a lower percentage, from 10 to 50 percent, it's quite accurate, but from 50 to 80 percent, it's not that accurate. But again, the benefit is that you can just need a drop in order to get a measurement. You don't need a full cylinder. Uh, this is quite useful, especially for if you want to continuously measure alcohol percentage coming out of your store and you don't have a parrot. You literally just take a little drop, put it on the lens cover, slow the lens and smooth it out. Now, very important when both using the alcohol refractometer and the sugar refractometer, do not put too much liquid on the lens because if that liquid layer is too thick, 
you don't get an accurate reading. The last refractometer we have available here this week is our alcohol refractometer with built-in LED. Now this LED light is correctly um, calibrated in terms of the light wavelength to give you an accurate reading. So you just press a little button there while you um, are taking your reading and you can use it in a dark space, interior space and so forth. Now we brought these in specifically for nightclubs, um, bars and so forth where you might have an issue where bartenders dilute the alcohol um, and then so to hide the fact that they've been stealing shots or selling it and pocketing the money. Quite a common problem um, in, uh, in the hospitality industry. I've spent many years working in it, so believe me, I know what we had to deal with. This is a very quick and easy way for a head bartender, a manager, or a bar owner to go behind the bar, take a sample, and check the alcohol percentage. But please note, it obviously will not work in a uh, spirit with added sugar. In South Africa, for instance, brandy's got added sugar, so it won't work on that, won't work on liqueurs, won't work on spirit aperitifs. But on your whiskies, your uh, vodkas, your gins, and so forth, as long as it's not a gin with added sugar, these would work fine in that type of scenario. So that is the refractometers that we sell here at the Sleek and how you make use of them.